and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches! Before we get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And now for the shout outs of the week. The first one goes to Claire. And the Instagram shout out goes to Ashley Nicole. We're going to put more shout outs throughout this video. So keep watching for them. Now let's get started. Hi guys, Hi guys and welcome, welcome to Monday. Monday. Now Mondays are normally PB and J day, right? Yeah, but what kind of sandwich is that? It looks empty. Well, actually the sandwich is empty and that's because we had a suggestion from Vanessa, and she said, why don't you let the kids make their own PB&J? So that's what we're doing today. So I'm giving the kids these empty pieces of bread, and then I'm also gonna give them this uh, peanut butter. This is a natural peanut butter in a little cup, so you guys can spread that on your bread. And then in here we have the jelly, and this is the blueberry uh, pomegranate jelly. And of course I am gonna give them this little spoon fork, which has a little spreading knife on this end. Does it look good? Yeah. Do you think you can make your own? Yeah. I think it might be messy, but that's okay. There's a napkin on the bottom here. Now to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids some cherry tomatoes. And these are the heirloom um, smaller tomatoes. So there's a couple different varieties in there. There's like a green one and a yellow one and an orange one. I'm not sure if they're gonna like it, but we'll see. Over in this back corner, I have some really ripe, juicy strawberries. These are like the best of the season so far. They are so good. And then over here, I have some things the kids are going to love. In here, I have some goldfish, but these aren't just any goldfish. These are the Mickey Mouse ones. So there's actually fish in there, but then there's also a little red Mickey shape as well. They're so fun and I find these only at Target, you guys. They're kind of hard to find. And then lastly, we have some... Chocolate milk! Yay! Do you guys love chocolate milk? Yeah! This is definitely a treat. I don't give to them all the time, but they had a sale on these at my grocery store, so I picked some up for today. Because I love chocolate milk and PBJ. I think that's an awesome combination. Well, that's everything in the lunch today. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lids on and... We'll show you what we ate when we get back. That's right. Lunch, lunch is over now and here's how we did. Overall, I think it was a success. However, Lily, what happened to your sandwich? Uh, I was full. You were full. She only had half of a sandwich and of that, she only ate a couple bites. I think you can do better than that, miss. <laughs> And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hi, Fudgies, and happy Tuesday. So today we have our nut-free lunch, and it's also a hot lunch, but we're trying something new. I'm hoping the kids are gonna like it. In the thermoses today, I put some of this garlic chicken. I bought this bag at Costco, and it was like $5.99. It comes with grilled seasoned chicken and pasta and broccoli, carrots, corn in a garlic sauce. So hopefully, you think our guys are gonna like it? Yeah. I hope so. It was actually really easy to make. I just popped it in the microwave and it was done like that. Now to go along with that today, I have lots of other foods just in case they don't like this one. I'm giving them a yogurt tube, some Cheez-It crackers, lots of little tiny chocolate chip cookies. Aren't those cute? Yeah. And I'm also giving them lots of cherries. I'll probably end up giving them more than this because the kids love these cherries. These are local. But do they have seeds? They do have pits, so just be careful. Sometimes I'll go ahead and pre-pit all the cherries, but I didn't do that today, so don't eat the cherry pits. Okay guys, that's it for the lunch today. I'll go ahead and put my lids on, and after lunch... We'll show you what we ate. Bye. Bye. Time to check the lunches. Right now I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily with me. Say hi. 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 So what'd you think of the lunches? It was good. Super good. <laughs> super good, huh? What about, super, oh. Super, super good. You ate all your noodles? Uh-huh. But did Lily? Yeah. No. She ate half of it, so that's not bad. And Mackenzie? Oh, you didn't eat all of it? You just ate the noodles and left the chicken and the broccoli and the carrots. Well, I don't know. This this chicken stuff was just okay. I probably, I probably wouldn't buy it again. What was your favorite part, Lily? Um, the cookies and uh, everything else. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. Now, since it is the last.
last week of school, we're sort of having a pizza party today, but I kept it really simple by using a frozen pizza. We love to make our own pizzas, but this is just so quick and easy. And these guys actually really like this kind, don't ya? Mm -hmm. I get it at Walmart, it's not super expensive. To go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids some cantaloupe, which I cut into these really fun shapes using my crinkle cutter. If you guys have ever seen edible arrangements, you know the big fruit bouquets? I used to make those before I had kids, so I love to make fun looking fruit. And of course, we have Lily's favorite over here. We have spinach with ranch, and of course, we have a fork. That's her favorite thing these days. I love fork on it. And then lastly, I'm just giving the kids some milk. They requested milk with today's lunch, and that's totally fine. But I think that's it. I think that's gonna be totally enough for all these kids. What do you guys think? It looks yeah. good. Are uh -huh. you excited for a pizza party today? Yeah! After lunch? We'll show you what we ate. Lunch is over. And I see everyone left a little bit of something. Mackenzie left one piece of cantaloupe. Jackson only had one bite of salad. And Lily didn't eat any cantaloupe at all. What's the deal, you guys? You didn't like your cantaloupe, Lily? No. Did you try it? I was just full. You were just full? But did you like the pizza? Yeah. I see everyone liked the pizza, but this one was just a little bit too big for her. Overall, they did okay today. Now for tomorrow's lunch, I have something special planned with these new lunch boxes. Something these kids have never had in their lunch before. So stay tuned for that. See you on Thursday. Hi guys and happy Thursday. So today's lunch is pretty different. Not something I've packed before. It's kind of like chips and salsa, but without the salsa. For today's lunch, I'm using our new snack containers. These are really awesome. You can put four little things in here. So in the first container, I put some hummus. This is just plain hummus. It's really good. We love it. And then over here, I have a little bit of shredded taco cheese. So the kids can dip their chips, they can sprinkle cheese on there if they'd like to. It's kind of like a Lunchable, but different. In this back corner, I gave the kids some jicama, which is not something they eat super often, so hopefully they'll like it. It's a really crunchy vegetable. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, so I think they'll be okay. And in this back corner, it looks like I'm giving them kiwi, but it's not actually kiwi, but it's very similar. So these kiwis have a thinner skin with less fuzz on the outside. The fruit itself is a little bit more yellow, whereas a kiwi is more bright green. Now these kids have never had this before, so they're gonna let you know whether they like it or not. Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, we have to have some chips. So to keep our chips from breaking, I'm using a sandwich container. These are the multi-grain tortilla chips. They're really good, and they're gluten-free, too. And I'm also including a little guacamole cup. This is the perfect amount for the kids, and I like that it's pre-packaged, so it's really easy. So I'm just gonna stick that right in there. Now I was gonna give the kids cookies with their lunch, but somebody ate the cookies yesterday. And finally, the kids are just gonna have water with this lunch. What do you think, guys? It looks cool. Uh -huh. All right, after lunch, we will... Show you what we ate. Okay, kids, what did you think about today's different lunch? I didn't really like the kind of brand hummus. That hummus? What about I you, liked Jack? All of it. You liked all of it? Well, as you can see, they ate pretty much all of it, except for the jicama. You guys didn't like it very much? No. This one was a little bit not flavorful. I've had some better jicama before. Now I do have to say, this hummus was surprising. This isn't the brand we normally buy. And this is the original flavor, so I thought it would be pretty standard. But I don't know if you can tell, there's quite a lot of pepper in there, like black pepper flakes. So it was kind of spicy, I was surprised. So, yeah, it was spicy. Yeah, I probably wouldn't buy this one for the kids anymore. My favorite place to get hummus is Trader Joe's, so I'll definitely need to go there next time. So what was your favorite part, guys? I like the chips and the guacamole. Yeah, everybody ate all of the guacamole. Those are good. <laughs> oh. Why in the world is that in there? <laughs> this is some of Griffin's lunch. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> I like a sandwich. You know, Griffin had a sandwich. What about you, Jack? I liked everything, and I had some more chips, and yeah, Jackson, all my hummus was out, so I got like a new Yeah, package. Jackson asked for more, and he had more. What about you, Lily? Um, my favorite part was the kiwi and the chips. The kiwi and the chips. 
All right, we'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna have a special themed lunch for tomorrow that a lot of you guys suggested. So stay tuned, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys, and happy Friday. Now today, we actually don't have school. Yesterday was our last day, but we're still gonna be making special lunches all throughout the summer, and we're gonna be featuring your requests. So if you have a lunch request, leave it down below, and hopefully we'll make it over the summer. Today's lunch was actually suggested by a lot of you guys. Today's lunch is summer themed, and when I think of summer, I think of hot dogs and watermelon and corn on the cob. We also have some special cookies and drinks today. So this is a really simple lunch, but it's also really fun. I started with some hot dogs from Costco. These are the all beef kind. And I went ahead and cooked these in the air fryer. It's a lot faster and easier than cooking them on the grill. I also sliced up some big pieces of watermelon. This watermelon is really good. We got it at Costco. It's nice and sweet. I love watermelon. To go along with this, I also have some corn on the cob. I just gave them a small piece because that's more kid friendly. And I just boiled this for a few minutes until it was warm. Over in this corner, I have some special Oreos. These are the firework Oreos. So I'm just gonna give each kid one. They don't need a ton. Inside of them, there's tiny pop rocks. That's right. So it's kind of popping in your mouth like a, like a popping firework. Yeah. And then lastly, we have our special cup today. I found these at the Dollar Tree. And these are really fun because they look like beach balls. And of course, because it's summer themed, we have lemonade. Does it look good? Uh -huh. It's kind of big. I don't know if Lily's going to eat all of hers, but you can try your best. Yeah. We can also share it with Griffin, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and she's the only one who got mustard on hers because nobody else likes mustard, do ya? No. Only Daddy likes mustard. Yeah, I like mustard too. This is the best summer lunch ever. Is the watermelon your favorite? I like this and the hot dog and cookies. What's your favorite? Um, the hot dog, the cookie, the watermelon. What's your favorite? The hot dog and the watermelon. Mm. And there's one more. What? The lemonade too. The lemonade, those are cool cups. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. See you later.